In the shadowy corridors of Rome, where ancient secrets lurk and faith is tested, comes a tale that precedes evil's birth. This journey into 1971 is veiled in darkness and mystery, setting the stage for the launch of a much-loved horror series. Joining us today are Nell Tiger-Free, who plays the enigmatic Margaret, and Arkasha Stevenson, the visionary director behind the first Omen. Welcome, Nell and Arkasha. How are you two? We are good. good. Yeah, lovely. thank you for having thank us. You. All right, Arkasha. And that's a lovely intro. Yes. I'm, I'm, trying, say that I'm trying to do some like, sort of intro to make it a little more spookier. And I'm a huge fan of the Omen series. So I can't, I'm, I'm excited that we're taking it all the way back to the beginning and uh, seeing how all of this kind of began. Um, and Arkasha, you're, you're making your first feature film directorial debut uh, with such an amazing franchise. Um, you have to be thrilled. Uh, how did you approach adding your own unique vision to the Omen and its legacy? Yeah, well, it was um, a very terrifying task, first and foremost. Um, it's such a sacred franchise. Um, I also grew up on it, and so I have a lot of nostalgia, and it's a very, you know, has a very special place in my heart. Um, but I think what was so interesting was that when we inherited the script, it always started from the viewpoint of Margaret, and I thought that that was such a brilliant new way to re-enter the universe, um, and gave a lot of really fun um, space for us to play in and kind of for me to bring my own sensibility to. And Nell, you're playing uh, Margaret, a character that's kind of caught between devotion and uh, darkness. Uh, that kind of has to be an intense journey to get in that headspace. Can you share how you prepared for this role and what it was like to kind of navigate that complex psyche? Yeah, I think that's a really good way of putting it. It is a complex psyche to navigate. Um, to be completely honest, I tend not to prepare. I, d I didn't actually really prepare for anything. I just wanted to come with fresh eyes. You know, Margaret's a brand new character in the franchise, so there was nothing to kind of research and go off. And um, a lot of it was on the page. A lot of it we found along the way. And just kind of there are little, you know, pieces of Margaret that, that formed day by day, which was such a nice journey and, like, experience. Um but yeah, I mean, you know, navigating that kind of psyche, it was just, I kind of had these points and these markers that I knew I had to hit story-wise, and we just kind of took it day by day, and, and she kind of appeared. She did. <laughs> she it's kind of appeared. Lovely. Nell, I feel like you're you're such an instinctual actor. Thank and you. And so it um, really comes from the gut a lot, and then I think, you know... Singing with Bill Nye off that camera helps. really helps when that you're helps. making a horror film. Yeah. Yes. It helps. <laughs> it helps ease the day, yeah. for sure. And uh, the collaboration between the actor and director is, is kind of a major thing, especially when a film high, like relies heavily on psychological depth. Um, could you two <laughs> kind of share a moment during filming that was like, particularly impactful or something that you guys had to work through together to try to get the vision from each of your perspectives? Yeah, have, I, have I told you this story? I don't know. Okay, this might not be exactly what you're asking for, but this is a moment that is burned in my brain for the rest of my life, is um, we were in the catacombs shooting a moment of the finale, and um, the catacombs, we were in there for about five, six like days. Six days, yeah. Very disorienting place. It's in a dome, so when you're talking, it's you can't hear your own voice. It's wild. echoing throughout. Um, lots of fire. Nell's on the ground. You, you're, um, it's a very physical, um, a very taxing day, I think. And we were running out of time, and we needed to capture what feels like 20 more beats and I, I leaned down to you and I said, I'm so sorry, I need to figure out this problem. And you grabbed my hand and said, no, we need to figure out this problem. And right when you said that, one of the SFX guys was testing the levels of the propane behind you on the flame. And it went, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, she's a goddess. She's a goddess, come to help I me. I timed that it so that perfect. it would come up. It was, it was really perfect. Oh, and, gosh. And, but saying that, it's like I've... We, we were such a partnership, I yeah. feel like, throughout the whole... Everything was a collaboration. Um, I leaned on you so much. Like, and likewise, so it much. Was really lovely. It was. Yeah. It was really, really lovely. Um, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, hearing that, like, it's so funny. You forget things, and then when you say that, it's like, it, it all comes back. And the Cascoons was really difficult. We were there for a, a lot of time, and 
but at the same time it just felt it just felt overwhelmingly satisfying to to shoot and to perform and yeah it, it was sort of we didn't know whether it was day or night or yeah. you know what was going on but that helped and it lent itself and it was consuming and it was visceral and there was fire and yeah. I was I stank I smelled so bad by the, the end of that stank. I was like dirt and mud and <laughs> I blood I smell you through me I smelled so bad well, we couldn't smell anything because the sand and the dirt we would have like black in our nostrils after like three yeah. days in the catacombs sorry we digress yeah. but um yeah I, I'm, I'm all about the sights and the the smells of omen I guess <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you two for joining me this morning. Arkasha, Nell Tiger Free, thank you two for uh, joining me. And if you want to check out The First Omen, it's in theaters now. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.